box office, long range box office projections for the Joker are in, and they're pretty high. Um, I'm on CBR.com, and the headline is Joker. Early projections indicate film will open near Aquaman. Now, in December 2018, Aquaman opened like around 65, 67 million, and because it was Christmas, which is unique, each following day it like got really high, you know, box office totals because viewing habits, movie viewing habits for blockbusters are different around Christmas than otherwise. So, Joker, even if it opens near that, it's not going to be like every day afterwards is going to make an insane amount of money because, you know, it's not a Christmas weekend where everybody's off work and school. But anyways, just that $65 million is what's important for, you know, this, this video. But let's go on and read what CBR is saying about this in more detail. Box Office Pro predicts Joker will earn between $80 and $90 million domestically over its opening weekend. That's even higher. $77 million is the current estimate which, if true, could lead to a total take of around $175 million domestically by the end of the film's run. That's against a reportedly low budget of around $55 million. One of the driving forces behind the strong opening is the high level of anticipation for the film, which is already getting Oscar buzz. Those numbers are likely to change and become more solid as Joker gets closer to its release date and reactions from audiences and critics start pouring in. Additionally, this doesn't factor in the movie's international box office. In terms of other DC movies, this projection would indicate a strong opening for the film. Joker could very likely earn more than Aquaman, 67.8 million, and Shazam, 53.5 million. These are its opening weekends it's talking about. Though the movie lags behind Justice League's 93.8 million. Still, the budget of that PG-13 team-up film, Justice League, was reportedly around 300 million and Joker is R-rated, meaning its potential audience is smaller. If projections hold, Joker could easily go on to have the 8th highest grossing opening domestically <coughs> for a DC film. That last sentence doesn't make it sound too good. 8th highest grossing opening domestically. That makes it look like it's... That doesn't make it sound too impressive if, if it's number 8 out of how many DC movies have there been. It's not saying just DCEU, it's of DC movies, period. I think even including those old, like, Christopher Reeve Superman movies and the old Michael Keaton Batman movies. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, I would say that, you know, between 60 and 90 million for this movie in its opening weekend would be huge. 90 million would be huge. Um, yeah, 77, whatever. That would be great. So how do you feel about this? How do you feel about Joker potentially? Being, having a high opening weekend. I do think that interest in Joker is high. I think there's a curiosity factor. Um, because, you know, it's a very dark, serious movie and it's prestige. You know, it's a prestige, dark comic book movie about a villain, which is something we haven't seen a, super, a comic book movie yet, I think, with all those boxes checked in one film. So I think there's a curiosity factor, definitely. And the buzz so far is good. I mean, all that you've, most of what you've heard about Joker is that Warner Brothers has decided to premiere it at prestigious film festivals. And that makes it seem like it's a really good movie. A very highbrow, artfully good movie. As opposed to like an Avengers Endgame kind of movie. Good movie. Now I'm not saying Avengers Endgame. I'm not trying to, you know, crap on that movie. I'm just saying Avengers Endgame is not going to win like a Best Picture Oscar. But, so it's not like that kind of good. Right? Same thing about Aquaman. Aquaman's not going to win a Best Picture Aquaman, but Aquaman was entertaining. So I'm not just trying to pick on Marvel here. I included a DC movie in that example. But yeah, um, we'll see. I mean, hopefully Joker lives up to the hype. We'll find out soon enough. The movie opens October 5th in America. and But before that, we'll be hearing news about it because it will be premiering at these film festivals before then. Like one later this month, I think. Um, and then one soon after. It's Toronto and Venice. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.